In this video we're going to be looking at viscosity and why it's important when vehicle refinishing. We're going to be showing you how to do it, what tools you need and some things you need to bear in mind when you're carrying out this task. Viscosity. What is it? Well viscosity means the resistance to flow. In simple terms, the thickness of a liquid. Take water for example. Water is thin or less viscous. Honey is thick and this is more viscous. An example of products we use with refinishing would be a clear coat. This is less viscous than say a high bill primer. This will be more viscous. Why do we need to test viscosity? Let's take a look at these clear coated panels. This one has orange peel Orange peel could be caused by the lacquer being too viscous. And let's look at this one. This one is probably because the clear coat is less viscous, hence letting it flow out and giving it a better finish. So how do we actually measure the viscosity of a liquid? Well, first we're going to need a stopwatch. And we're also going to need a piece of equipment to measure the viscosity of a liquid. In the auto industry, we'll be using a DIN 4 cup. Let's take a look how to use them. With your stopwatch ready, you need to put the liquid in the top of the DIN 4 cup. Make sure you put your finger at the bottom to stop the liquid coming out. When you're ready, release your finger and start the stopwatch. Once all the liquid has come out of the DIN 4 cup, you need to stop the stopwatch. Now we have our viscosity reading, we need something to compare it to to make sure we have an accurate reading. For this, we need a datasheet. Let's take a look at the UPOL Highbill Primer datasheet as an example. Here, they give you a displayed reading of viscosity in seconds. This one is 45 to 55 seconds. As you can see, with the addition of 10% thinners, this can change the viscosity reading down to 30 to 35 seconds. So just with the addition of 10% thinners, that can alter the viscosity massively. When carrying out a viscosity test, it's a good idea to check the data sheet to make sure that your room is at the correct temperature. If the temperature is too hot, this means that the liquid could be less viscous or thinner. And if it's too cold, the liquid will be more viscous or thicker. If you're mixing paint in a cold room, and you add thinners to the paint to make it so it's the correct viscosity. When you go into a spray booth, that is a warmer temperature, so the paint will warm up and become even thinner. And when the paint becomes too thin in the booth, you could get this, and we all don't want this. Here's just a few things to remember. There isn't just a DIN fork up, there are other alternative methods of measuring viscosity. Temperature changes viscosity. Check the manufacturer data sheets and correctly clean the equipment after you've used it. 